What's up, though? It's one of the most terrifying phenomena known to man. Sleep paralysis, the frightening ordeal of waking up suddenly in the dead of night, temporarily unable to move a muscle or wow. even speak. Damn. For some it happens nightly, and others experience horrifying visions and sensations during their sleep paralysis. Whether you've suffered from it personally or not, here are five things you need to know about this terrifying condition. Sit back and enjoy this very first Top 5 short. It's more common than you think. According to a study taken in America in 2011, what the fuck? in which 3,600 random people were asked whether they had experienced symptoms of sleep paralysis, a shocking 65% said they had, and research undertaken by the Sleep Paralysis Project found that certain social groups tend to be more at risk of falling victim to the frightening disorder. For example, their test results showed that a higher number of African Americans suffer from sleep paralysis, and the most common age range that is affected by the sleeping disorder is 16 to 43 year olds. God, that's the damn. Although it's hard to gauge, as people younger and also older than this have reported being affected too. You cannot wake yourself up. Some people have mastered a practice called lucid dreaming which means that they will retain a certain amount of control and consciousness while they are dreaming, allowing them, for instance, to wake themselves up from an intense nightmare. But unfortunately, this does not work for sleep paralysis. She looked dead. This is because it occurs when a person is halfway between being awake and in REM sleep, Oh sh which means they are not technically dreaming, as their eyes are still open and their senses are still alert. People have reported trying desperately to wiggle their toes or scream to wake themselves fully, but it's never any use, and the sufferer simply must wait for the paralysis to pass, however long this takes. You may see things that you do not like. Though it's rarer than the sensation of being paralyzed itself, some people do report very frightening visions and sensations while in their paralysis state. For instance, many have reported feeling a weight on their chest during a sleep paralysis episode, oh my God. as though an invisible being of some kind is pinning them to the bed. Others report hearing voices in the room, and in one case, a man reportedly heard heavy breathing and deep growling coming no. from just behind him. Oh my God! Though of course, he was unable to turn around and look. However, the scariest thing about sleep paralysis is that some people experiencing a sleep paralysis attack actually claim to see figures in the room with them. That could be dark shadows looming over them while they are completely unable to move. Which brings us to the next fact. That's crazy. People see the same things. One of the most inexplicable and terrifying facts about sleep paralysis is that people from all around the world who have had no contact with each other have reported seeing the same thing during their episodes. The most commonly reported apparition is the old hag, Many authors and psychiatrists who have studied sleep paralysis have noted that many of their patients report the presence of a hideous old woman who seems to take pleasure in the fear and panic she is causing, Dirty laughing at her victims as they lie there. Dirty ass fingernail. If this sounds like a joke, then keep in mind the hag is nothing new. Pause. Throughout the history of sleep paralysis, she has been described. In fact, in Scandinavian folklore, the belief is that sleep paralysis itself is brought on by the soul of a fallen woman, Sheesh. which has left its own body to terrify innocent people while they sleep in their beds. This entity, which Scandinavians refer to as Mare, is in fact where the term Nightmare originates from. Oh. This reoccurring apparition has led many to believe that sleep paralysis is supernatural in nature, rather than medical as it's very difficult to come up with an explanation as to why so many people report seeing the same entity. We do know how to treat it. As truly bizarre and frightening as the phenomena of sleep paralysis is, doctors have found that thankfully it is quite easy to treat. Studies have shown the main cause of sleep paralysis and all the scariness that comes with it is mainly not getting enough sleep. Without enough REM sleep, the brain finds it harder to switch off, sometimes resulting in the limbo state between being awake and dreaming, in which sleep paralysis takes place. Also, high levels of stress and anxiety are known to trigger the attacks, 
And even eating big meals or consuming alcohol right before bed can be triggers too. It's long been recommended that the best way to avoid sleep paralysis is to learn to truly relax and switch off all your worries before you go to sleep. Get between six to eight hours of rest and preferably not watch videos like this just before bedtime. Really? So there's five facts about really? the terrifying experience really? that is sleep paralysis. Really? I hope you've enjoyed this top five short and I'll see you in the next one. Did he really just say that not to watch videos like this as we're watching videos like this right before we go to bed? Really? Top fives? What is what's his real name? Or her? No, him. Um, but I don't think I ever came across um, sleep paralysis. I think I said that right. I don't know. Don't quote, don't do not quote me on that. Um, but the reason I say I don't think is because there was one time in my life, right? I I was in high school, and I I woke up. I don't know if this may be a type of sleep paralysis. I may not, but in be feel feel free in the comments to let me know what this is. Um, but when I woke up, I was on my back, and I was like, I was straight. I was I was stiff, but I was woke. But I couldn't move. So it was like I was paralyzed um, from like I want to say the neck down, but I think it was from like the head down. Like I could not move, and I was woke. I was conscious about my surroundings. I was in my own bed, but I couldn't move. So I don't know what that was, and it lasted for. I don't know, some, like a long as seconds. It didn't last for that long, but it felt like, you know, it lasted for a. It felt like it lasted for a really long time, because I was paralyzed. But in reality, it lasted for like a couple of seconds. Um, but that was really scary. Like I never been in that situ situation before. Um, but that was my only time ever doing anything like that. Um, my my whole thing is that like, you know, when we sleep, what exactly goes on? Like, you know, I don't know if y'all know what I'm. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like. I don't know. Um, like, is there something really over us? Like, hovering? Like, is there some, like, something or somebody really over, you know, over us, watching us while, while, uh, while we sleep? Or is it nothing? I don't know. It could, it could be something watching us while we sleep. It could not be, um... But I will not find that out because um, I've always wanted it to record myself sleep um, because I think I don't snore. I definitely don't hear it myself. Um, but I don't know to others I may snore, and that would be the only reason why I would ever record myself sleeping. Um, but I'm, I don't I don't know I don't know about recording myself because what if I record myself and some weird paranormal shit happens while I sleep? Like what? Come on, come on, really? I don't want to witness. I don't want to see that. I don't. I don't want to see no motherfucker over me just looking at me and breathing. I'm, come on, I don't want to see that. I don't. Um, but if anybody out there has ever witnessed themselves or somebody else um, with sleep paralysis, or if you um, have sleep paralysis now, like how do you how do you deal with it? Let me know that in the comment section below. But. Um, 
yeah I don't I don't think I have I don't have that at all um but yeah keep it cool keep it classy and I love you stay happy my family and try to get at least six to eight hours please because you best believe I make sure I give my six to eight hours every night if I don't I'm gonna try my damnness see y'all next time